So one week ago, I put my notice in my apartment, left, and sold everything I owned that I could sell, and um, decided to ride freight trains across the country. I uh, grabbed the Greyhound out of Boston and went to Buffalo, New York. Once I was on the Greyhound, I realized how terrible Greyhound is. Uh, one problem after another after another. Uh, the scenery is beautiful, but Greyhound doesn't control that. The drivers were terrible, the baggage trains were terrible, everything was really bad. But this is the furthest west I've ever been in my life. I've never left um, New England for the most part. So it was exciting, you know, and to say the least. But it was also nice to know that freight trains are more reliable. This freight train was rolling up and we were in a yard and it just happened to stop right next to us. We got lucky and I hopped on. When I hopped on, hiding from the bull, I had, you know, made sure I was ducked down, me and my partner. And he, uh, you know, it worked out. We got on and then we started moving. And once we started going, there was no issues. It was smooth sailing. Uh, the only issue we had was supposed to stop in Pittsburgh. And it kept going. We couldn't get out in the yard in Pittsburgh. There was an engineer who caught us and he gave us a thumbs up. Really nice. You know, like the engineers don't really care as long as we're not bothering anything and you're not being too obvious or dangerous. Uh, the ride was really nice. A little aggressive here and there, but you know, this is me being new and not being used to it. I had a blast. Now comes the problem. We get off the train. Uh, we got put in an intermodal yard, it's called, which is a federal yard. Very dangerous to get caught in. The penalties are really high. So we uh, just started hoofing out of there. We got out just fine, no problems, but now we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. And uh, this is what you see here where we can't hop this because there's cameras and they've been seeing us and they know we're here and we need to hike six miles just to get water and six miles back. It was a pain in the ass. There were so many nice people in, in Hoytville, uh, Ohio, in North Baltimore, Ohio, where we were, but realistically, I'll never go back. <laughs> the people were great. It was the, uh, the train yards new, so they were really aggressive about catching people. Um, once we uh, tried to get on a train, we did get caught, which means we had to run. Um, I didn't get video of it because I was too busy running for my life. I don't have, I have my phone. I don't have any kind of um, GoPro or anything like that. Constantly going. Uh, we did stop camp around. We did get stay ducked. We did make sure we weren't noticed for a few days before we tried to jump on. Engineers were, were throwing us water and stuff like that if they did see we were camped out. And making sure that we're uh, you know going to be okay because there's nothing in this whole city, not a single store. And uh, you know we did all right. We did what we had to do. And now uh, we went down to uh, Findlay, Ohio, and check that out. We grabbed some food down there too. Uh, Wilson's Burger was an amazing uh, historical place. We had fun, but I'm glad it's over. I would also like to thank everyone who has donated to the bail fund. Um, which is also the beer fund, <laughs> but uh, really there's not a lot of content yet. I'm just getting into this and I'm getting used to talking to the camera, but everyone here who has donated, you're all amazing. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I look forward to putting out more content for y'all. Thank you very much.